So I want to understand your views on AI. Um, everyone's, you know, writing about and talking about and adopting AI models and trying to invest in it. Um, but talk about it in terms of cloud adoption and what it means to, to the future of how, you know, how we're going to look at cloud computing now. Um, and, and so um, right now it's sort of a, a thing that's, uh, for lack of a better word, to me at least, it's like a bolt on to, to a cloud because you're still talk, talking about things like lift and shift or running Kubernetes clusters. But is there going to be a shift around maybe how we look at cloud adoption? Um, AI and cloud. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I guess, do you, you know, do, do you see like, so for example, like look at NVIDIA, they're, they're tuned into this whole trend of, uh, you know, they're already, they, they're operating that we're going to see a, a million X increase in, in the scope of how learning and training is going to need compute and, and they're innovating on, on that. Um, is there any parallel in, in how people, CIOs, CTOs are going to think about cloud adoption, AI first versus Kubernetes first. I, mean, I, think of a, I think of AI as just a different class of software, just a different kind of experience you can create with software. You know, when, when GUIs came along, um, there were big fights over, you know, what, stand, what, what C++ object hierarchy are you going to use to implement your windowing application in, you know, Borland versus Microsoft standard versus... Do you know what I mean? Like this was a thing, this was a fight, this was, a, this was innovation. And what emerged was essentially a class of software, GUI software, right? And you could, you could offer experiences to users with this technology that you couldn't offer with the previous generation of the technology. To me, the, you know, AI is really just a different class of software. I can offer experiences to users that are different to the experiences I could offer before I had those standard libraries. Right, and so um, t setting aside the social consequences of those different kinds of experiences, um, you know, I think we're in the Borland versus Microsoft Foundation classes phase of 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 how are people going to make and distribute and and operate um, this new class of software, which is a neural network of you know whatever. It's, it's the model expression is. Um, in the end, I think it just turns into a different set of capabilities that software can provide its users. Um, is it profound? Yes, in the same way that GUIs were profound, right? Like they opened up software to a whole different set of purposes and use cases and so on, um, and people, um, but, but it's just another kind of software it, in, in, in my view, at least. Can you see a model the, the whole your your whole uh, explanation of abstracting on top of Kubernetes and, and having a model driven approach uh, operator of all operators? Can you see uh, AI being applied at, not AI in, applied to 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 do that model driven? But um, if someone wants to to uh, you know have AI out of the box for certain use cases and classes of data, can you see it happening at that level? Yeah, very, very, very definitely. Uh, I mean, you already see um, models as a service. So, you know, you can connect to the service and do analysis of images or connect to that service and do analog analysis of voice, connect to a third service and do an analysis of text. There's a model being served, right? Um, and so that's being wrapped up as, as SaaS, as, 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 as API calls over, over the network. Um, and you know, I think we'll only see that continuing to grow. And so, yeah, I can imagine basically deploying some software and saying, oh, I want to integrate this with this SaaS over there. That SaaS over there is, is an AI, you know what I mean? Like it's, 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 it's doing pattern matching and pattern recognition on some data that I'm going to feed it. And my integration is basically saying, feed, feed the data to that and then take a look at what it sends back, right? Um, so that seems perfectly natural, yeah. Also, I imagine that if you think about the operations of software, once we have expressed applications in a model, it becomes much easier to do things like correlation uh, and pattern matching because 
you 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 have an idea of of you can express what what the software should be doing and therefore you can do analysis on logs and other things in a much more structured way than perhaps you would have been able to in in a in a pre-model driven application management world right so i do expect ai to intersect with our kind of r d on application management in a model driven way um and i think that's quite exciting um but again that's just a different experience that can be granted to users because we have a new class of software right 